<laughs> Moving on to my story about um, actually why being a gay man might not be so good. Oh, no. Have oh, no. you all... Have you all heard of monkeypox? Oh, no. Oh, monkey yes. Okay. So, so first off, what is monkeypox? Do you know what monkeypox is? Have you heard is of it? it? Is it closely related to smallpox? It is quite closely related to smallpox. So, it's caused by the monkeypox virus, which is a member of the orthopox virus genus in the family Poxviridae. Now, that is actually, I believe, the same family as uh, smallpox, which is why, you know, they're very similar. Obviously, they both create pox, like pox marks. Oh, that's <laughs> I was going to say, hence, hence the pox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the pox. It's the pox. <laughs> the pox really gave it away. So, monkeypox is usually, um, usually lasts about two to four weeks, um, and you can have severe cases, but it's less severe than smallpox. Uh, the Fatality ratio is usually about three to six percent, but you've got to remember that this is usually happening in Central and West Africa, um, mm. in sort of tropical rainforest areas. So one would assume that in areas with easier access to healthcare mm. and uh, honestly more money, um, yeah, there, you're, you've probably got better chances of survival. One could no assume. No way, that. Corey. There isn't universal healthcare around the entire world available to everybody, free no, at the point of use. I don't know. I feel like when Britain went to Africa, surely they gave them universal health care. That's what they were going there for, to do nice things. Right. That's why we were in Africa. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure. I've seen sure. that yeah. movie, The, the yeah. Constant Garden. Yeah. That's what that movie was about, wasn't it? <laughs> I saw The Crown. They went to Africa. Yeah. They were very nice very positive and friendly. Yeah. Exactly. They were all dancing and happy mm. and celebrating. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, now, monkeypox is a sort of zoonotic virus. You know, you know what that is, right? It's in animals. We know that from yeah. from the recent thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it comes from <laughs> oh. animals. The monkey <laughs> really kind of gives that away. Yeah. Uh, so it is uh, transmitted uh, from human to human through close contact with, um, or really from animal to human as well, uh, through close contact with the infected person or animal or no, 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 just those two things. With the infected person or animal. Um, uh, you know, or with uh, stuff that the virus is on. So, like, um, even bed sheets and stuff could um, apparently uh, spread wow. this disease. Yeah, so it's tra- it says here it's transmitted from one person to another by close contact with lesions, bodily fluids, respiratory droplets, and contaminated materials such as bedding. So... As I said, it's usually in the tropical, tropical rainforest um, sort of areas of Central and West Africa, and sometimes it um, leaves and goes to other places, like a little holiday, um, which is what is happening oh. now, oh, unfortunately. I walk about. Yeah, a little bit. Gone out for a little bit. It's not great, but luckily, um, because it is related to smallpox, which was eradicated when? Does anyone know when smallpox was eradicated? Ooh. No. A long time ago. 1980. Oh, that's, that's not, not that long ago. I thought, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, 40 oh years ago. Oh my gosh, 1980 is 40 years ago. That's disgusting. Yeah. I still I, think of numbers relative to the year 2000. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the 70s, 20 that, years oh, ago. Half a century ago. <laughs> Whenever I'm reminded that the 90s were 30 years 30 ago, years ago. I, I feel a little bit sick. Yeah. <laughs> just, just every single time. So... Monkeypox um, is, as I said, similar to smallpox. It looks like smallpox as well. So when you've got monkeypox, it could look like you've got smallpox. Um, And as I said, smallpox has been eradicated. It's less contagious and causes less severe illness than smallpox. So this is is all kind of, to an extent, good-ish news. Obviously, like, you know, it's not good news that there's this disease that I like to have cut about. But the fact that it is less severe than smallpox and similar to smallpox is quite good because it means that we can use some of the stuff that we've used for smallpox um, for, like, you know, on monkeypox. Now, it usually presents uh, with a fever, rash, swollen lymph nodes, and could lead to a bunch of different complications. Now, you might be wondering why we are doing monkeypox as a story on this Pride-themed Psy Guys Live. I don't think we mentioned that yet, did we? It's a Pride-themed Psy Guys Live. That's why everything has been so gay. I'm not wondering that at all, because nothing (laughs) nothing surprises me anymore. (laughs) (laughs) We just happened to do everything. So um, why are we we doing monkeypox for this Pride-themed episode? I think it's getting a similar sort of uh sort of reputation to like what aids got as being like a, a thing that's transmitted by <coughs> by and amongst gay people is that correct to an extent yeah so there has been uh, the, 
it's, there's been a lot of cases in men who have sex with men. Yeah. That has been the main thing. So I tried to look into this to try and see what was going on, why that was the case. Now, I heard a bunch of different things. And I actually read this article in Science that um, is talking about a recent study. Um, and I mean, very recent, as in it came out, I think, last week, or the, the article came out about last week. Mm. Um, and... It, it was. It took 152 patients. Um, it, you know, asked them to fill out um, questionnaires. Had 151 of them said they were men who had sex with men, and they were trying to. Th- this article is kind of going into the reasons why that might be the case. So, just right off the bat, why do you think we might be seeing more of this in men who have sex with men? Um, well, I mean, if it's anything like um, anything like the transmission sort of vector for AIDS, it's because you're. Now, maybe I'm showing my um, ignorance here, but I think you're more likely to sort of open blood vessels during um, sex with men when you're a man than you are um, in vaginal sex. So that's not actually, um, this is, so it's not really an STD technically, right? right. So this isn't why, this isn't the sort of, um, that's not the sort of prevailing theory. Like, okay. Perfectly valid one. No, but it's well, it's actually, yeah. as far as I'm aware, people are not really pointing out um, the specific sex that um, gay men tend to have as being the sort of culprit for this. There are a few other ideas, and some of them do stem from the sort of HIV AIDS crisis of, you know, um, years past, what's that sort of 80s, um, moving to sort of 90s time, um, is it? Yeah. 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 I mean, there's there's one theory that I first heard about, right? You know, that this was, this was from a tweet. So I'll take this with a massive, massive grain of salt. This this tweet basically said something along the lines of why do you think um, that uh, why do you think that a lot of gay men are showing up to the doctor when they have a sort of um, what's the word an unexplained rash right more so than say straight men or any other sort of demographic and it's I think it's fair to say that a lot of gay men take their sexual health more seriously than right. other groups okay. right ah. for understandable reasons now. I, that is that is one thing that is brought up in this article, but the the issue is that that kind of um, that that doesn't really explain everything, right? For mild cases, absolutely sure that makes sense. You know, like if you're more likely to like if you've got one group that's more likely to go to the doctor for something mild, you probably see more mild cases in that group. But there are severe cases that need hospitalization, so it doesn't. You know, I mean, it doesn't explain everything because you'd still be seeing the more severe cases in other groups yeah. so mm-hmm. now the, you can't take that into account so i mean like there's literally this quote here that could be a skewed picture of course men who have sex with men have a better relationship with medical practitioners than heterosexual men says lilith whittles an infectious disease modeler at imperial college london which could mean they are more likely to report monkeypox symptoms and get tested for the virus um that, that's like that's that's one explanation and the thing is ultimately it doesn't need to be one or the other here Almost everything I mentioned today could be coming together to give this picture, but there is some trepidation, and it's discussed in this in this article and in a number of other places uh, that I've read. There is some trepidation to sort of look into this and and sort of try to understand why um, we're seeing more of this in gay men, specifically because of the way that um, sort of HIV and AIDS kind of were were viewed, you know, yeah, yeah. in that. You know, it, it was viewed as a gay plague. It was viewed as um, something, it, 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 for a lot of people, God's wrath against the gays. Uh, it was made, it, like, you know, people were scared to touch people with HIV yeah. um, and AIDS, despite the fact that you cannot transmit it through just touching someone's skin. Yeah. Now, there were, and, and all of this has contributed to the idea that sort of uh, gay men are promiscuous and dirty and disgusting and all of these sort of things. And... You know, I mean, a, a good scientist um, is careful about <laughs> essentially sort of the biases that they're going to be sort of feeding into with their research. Now, that's not to say that uh, I'm, I'm not saying that scientists uh, choose to not research something because uh, they're afraid of being sexist or racist or homo. The, the idea is more that they understand that there is a bias there and they need to be more careful about how they're studying something so as not to draw upon that bias 
when it's was, was sort of looking for. Results. And they don't control the media. <laughs> Who- oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You've got to work around that as well, because ultimately um, the media could take this and just turn it into something that it entirely is not, right? So if you've got a scientist that says, oh yeah, here's a reason that we see this more in gay men, the media immediately, ah, gay men are d- d- more prone to this because they are bad, you know? Mm-hmm. They suck. Yeah. Um, that is that is generally how this kind of goes. So there is some trepidation uh, to talk about this because they don't want to, I guess, be seen as um, denigrating gay men or have an effect on sort of harming gay men. But one of the things that's kind of being brought up here is the sort of sexual, um, I guess, the, the, the difference in how sort of sexual relationships work with gay men. Now, I mean, there's, there, it goes through a lot of different things and it's not really about having more partners, right? Because there were, this essentially, the article goes on to talk about sort of um, gonorrhea, I think in the 70s and how modelers were having a really hard time figuring out why it was spreading so much because sort of way back then, um, the, the average number of sexual partners was, was too low to sort of, I guess, support that, uh, the sort of spread. And it's when you look, it's when you look beyond the sort of averages, right? If you think about it this way, right? Average sexual partners doesn't tell you everything because if a lot of people have only maybe two or three sexual partners, right? But one person is sleeping with everyone, then that one person being a node could cause a lot of spread. And in, in sort of gay communities, I mean, in, in London, there is that sort of, there is that sort of culture, right? of um, multiple different, uh, of sort of having maybe multiple partners at once. There are some people that have many partners that have sort of slept with basically everyone, right? And so that this transmission there could be easier, especially given that monkeypox can be quite easily transmitted, right? Um, there's there's talk about it being um, uh, transmitted via sort of skin-to-skin contact, not necessarily through um, sort of um, blood, uh, like sort of, you know, blood or um, broken blood vessels. Uh, it literally quite here, a, a quote from this article, it says, uh, researchers have found viral DNA and even infectious virus in the semen of some patients, but they aren't sure that is important for transmission. Skin-to-skin contact may be enough um, other STIs, including herpes and scabies, also primarily spread this way. So skin to skin contact could be enough to spread it. So, I mean, sexual encounters are clearly playing a role, but it isn't like it isn't really an STI. Like it's not described as an STI anywhere. It is. Um, it is. It is. It is essentially sort of normal. And uh, let's say like a sort of normal virus spread through normal means. But obviously, having sex is very close contact, and so can increase the risk of spreading it. So there are multiple factors at play here, right? There, There's the fact that um, gay men are probably being overrepresented because they're more likely to seek, um, they're more likely to seek a sort of medical attention. Um, there's the aspect of just how gay men uh, approach relationships quite differently to heterosexual people. There's both of those things coming into play, but really what we can, <laughs> what we can quite definitely say is that there's nothing inherent about gay men that makes them more dirty or more prone to disease. And if anything, really seeking out medical attention early and um, sort of, you know, early and, and, and having those conversations um, at, at, the, at the earliest possible point is the best possible thing to do because this is quite treatable. So vaccines that we used um, to eradicate smallpox um, could provide some protection against monkeypox. And there's been newer va- vaccines then developed off the back of that. Um, you know, to help prevent monkeypox. So, um, you know, one, um, one has been approved for the prevention of monkeypox, um, you know, a, vac- a vaccine already. Um, and then there's also, um, and I'm just going to quote here, an antiviral agent developed uh, for the treatment of smallpox has also been licensed for the treatments of monkeypox. So we're in a much better position here uh, than we're in with the previous, um, the previous virus, <laughs> obviously, because... This is this is basically built off the back of smallpox, right? Whereas this the, the other virus that we're dealing with um, was pretty bloody new, right? There wasn't a lot that we could do. We didn't know very much about it. Whereas this one, um, we've been aware of for a while, and it's we've we've already got a lot of tools to help uh, sort of fix it. So it could, it, it, uh, from what I've been reading, there could be like a fairly decent spread throughout the world. But I don't think from what I've read thus far, that there is going to be a sort of a pandemic on the scale of what we have just experienced. Yeah. Now, I've been wrong about that before, but I <laughs> am purely basing this off of, as I said last time, purely basing this off of exactly what I'm, exactly what people have been saying at the mm. earliest sort of possible point. Mm. So 
don't think of this as a sort of another gay plague or whatever. Like, we've got a lot of tools to fix this. Really what to take from this is just to be... To just, to just test yourself regularly, right? So, um, you know, be open with your be open with your sexual partners. You know, have those conversations with them. Um, if you see a rash or you see any changes, go to a doctor and make sure you're testing yourself regularly, especially, like, you know, when you're having new sexual partners. That's all. That's it. Also, gay men aren't dirty, and uh, they aren't prone to disease. They just... They're just gay. Thanks. That's their thing. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that just up, Corey. Um, <laughs> quick question. When you say uh, test yourself, uh, you're talking about general sexual health testing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 But that won't yeah. detect monkeypox, I assume. No, no, no. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's still related, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. yeah. yeah. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, I, I'm, mm. I'm glad that I know a bit more about that as well, because I've not... Because it's not become uh, a big thing yet. I've not read too much mm. into it, because I'm just sort of hoping... Well, every all the signs are saying that's not going to become a thing. Yeah. Um. And so, well, it'll be fine. But I didn't even know I that. Was... I didn't even know that one of the signs of it was a rash. And so now I know that. So if ever I get a mm-hmm. rash, or one of my friends gets a rash, it might be monkeypox. Get on the phone to your doctor. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I was honestly hoping this would blow over before I had the chance to do something sci-fi related on it. Like, yeah. in all honesty, <laughs> I just I can't I can't deal with another one. But I mean, we might do a full episode on this. Fingers crossed. We don't yeah. have to. Fingers crossed. Like, you know. There is there's no reason to in a month when when we get to it, but we might do a full episode of this. That's why I, I didn't go too deep into this because I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to spoil it. You know I want to I want to do I want to do a proper good read into all of this mm. with a proper episode. But I thought it might it would be important to kind of talk about why gay men might be at risk or more at risk of monkeypox than you know um, other people in the population. And that is my story. Very Yay, good. Nice one. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, yeah. yeah, I I had like like I said, like me avoiding the news about it. The one mm. of the things I had picked up that it was it was it was more prevalent in gay men, um, or mm. was seemingly more prevalent in gay men. That's like the one piece of news media that broke through, other yeah. than like maybe it has like a weird sort of scabby looking thing. Yeah. Um. Mm. So yeah, very interesting to to be able to talk about that. Thank you for for bringing that. <laughs> If you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows.